Well, it can suffocate, if that counts. But, other than that, I don't really see much use as an actual weapon, so... Ooh, very pretty structure there. Hey, what's up guys, Birdman4 here, and in today's Modded Monday, I am going to be showcasing the mod, um, Weapons Plus for Minecraft 1.7.2. And this mod, as you may be able to guess, adds in some new weapons to the game, as well as some new armor, which I am going to show off. So, as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of chests here, all of the crafting recipes, so let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to show off are the landmines. You can craft three of them, with three pressure plates and three TNT. And pretty much what they do, I'm going to place them a bit away from the little crafting site area. These are difficult to see, but as you'd guess, if you step on one, it'll explode. And this doesn't just work for players, it works for mobs as well. So if we grab, let's say, a creeper, and stand cautiously there, punch him onto it, and it'll explode. So, we, uh, that's pretty cool. Landmines, very neat. Um, anyhow, the next one I'm going to show you, let me just fly back over here, is the uh, rocket-propelled grenade launcher. And it can be crafted with six blocks of iron, and obsidian, and redstone, and to actually use this in survival, you'll need a rocket-propelled grenade, which can be crafted with five iron and TNT. So simply all you need to do, it looks pretty cool uh, too, it's, it's really big. All you need to do is um, right-click, hold back, and let fly. And it takes a second to recharge, so you can't like rapid fire. Uh, every couple of seconds that you can shoot again, so that's pretty neat. And it's just like a bow; you can hold back however long you want, and it'll shoot it. So that is sort of neat. And the next weapon is the snow cannon, uh, which is uh, requires five iron ingots and a packed ice, and what it does it uses uh, snowballs for ammo. And it uses a lot of them. So, if you're going to be in survival, you want... Okie dokie, well, Minecraft just crashed on me. Uh, I really have no idea why. Anyways, as I was saying, you're going to want a lot of snowballs. And so, if I go into survival, as you can see, when I right-click, it uses an entire stack of snowballs at once. So, you're going to need a lot of them. But all it does, really, is just... Oops shoot a whole bunch of snowballs and you can build little snow paths and stuff and it's pretty neat Woo! and so there you go <laughs> make little snow buildings like that very quick actually I'm not sure if this does any damage let's see if it does well it can suffocate if that counts but other than that I don't really see much use as an actual weapon, so... Ooh, very pretty structure there. But, yeah, so that is the snow cannon. Uh, now that we've used that... Next is the flamethrower. Oh, yes. Which is crafted with five iron ingots, and a flamethrower gas tank, which is crafted with four iron ingots, and a gunpowder. Now, I'm actually going to go through all the crafting recipes first and take all these out, so... Uh, That'll be easier. So we have the laser blaster here, which you can switch modes in. I, a few of these weapons you can switch modes in, but I'm not sure how. I wasn't able to figure that out. So, yeah. But this is crafted with two iron blocks, a, a piece of glass, some redstone, three obsidian, and an energy crystal, which will come up later. And the energy crystals are crafted with four redstone and a diamond. Next, we've got the rail gun, which is four powered rails and four blocks of iron. And you can make some railgun ammo out of five iron ingots and two blocks of iron. Next we've got the ender cannon which is crafted with six obsidian and one eye of ender and a redstone. And we have the poison edged sword here which is a diamond sword and a spider eye. We have got 
the throwable sword, which is a huge work in progress. By the way, I forgot to mention, this mod is only about 50% complete, so it's not finalized at all, it's still a work in progress mod. But it's very neat, I found it on Planet Minecraft. So pretty much you just put in an iron sword, which I think is, uh, the crafting recipe should change because you get pretty much a diamond sword, out of an iron sword, except you can throw it. Next is the energy sword, which is plus 12 attack damage, which is the energy crystal, 2 redstone, and 2 obsidian. We have the rift blade, which is, uh, which is supposed to be able to right click, hold, to teleport randomly. It's the same amount of damage as a diamond sword. Um, it's made of two ender pearls, an eye vendor, and two obsidian. Next we have the invisibility suit, which I am actually wearing here. And if you have the full set, you'll actually get invisibility. And it looks pretty neat too. But so this is how you create the helmet. The optic neck cables are actually crafted with six iron ingots and uh, three glass panes. So these are the boots. This is the uh, chest plate. And this is the leggings. So it's very neat. And so these are the rest of the weapons. So this is the flamethrower. You just simply right click and it'll shoot out a bit of flame. Which will light the ground on fire just a bit. And... Yeah, so... You can actually light this entire forest on fire just like that. Pretty simple. Hey, what you doing there, piggy? And, of course, it can light mobs on fire, too. Next is the laser blaster, which you pull back. And bam, it shoots. You need to pull back entirely for the shoot. And it doesn't do any explosions or anything. It just sort of uh, attacks things. And the ones that have energy remaining, uh, or fuel level or something of that sort, that's, you need, you have durability on. It's not anything to do. Oh, it just keeps switching modes. Um, it has nothing to do, like, it doesn't need any ammo. This is the railgun, which you need to pull back fully, and it will automatically shoot, so you can't decide when you want to shoot it by letting go. And it'll only do the damage to mobs, but it's pretty fun to play around with. Next we have the Ender Cannon, which does not actually damage any mobs. It just shoots off an Ender Pearl. And it'll teleport you around. So, it can be useful. And here we have our swords. So here is the Poison Edged Sword. So as you might expect, it would poison the mob. Next we've got our Throwable Sword, which is the same amount of damage as an iron, or a Diamond Sword, but you can actually check it. So these is a throwable sword and they land like arrows and such they have the same behavior as arrows and it's very fun to throw around next is the energy sword which is plus 12 attack damage and it's apparently has different modes too which I don't know how to activate as I said and here is the rift blade which is supposed to be able to right click to teleport randomly but I ain't teleporting, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, but as I said, this mod is still a work in progress, so nothing is complete yet. But even as it is, at like 50% complete, it is a very neat mod. I really like it. Thumbs up to the mod creator. As I said, I'm on Planet Minecraft. And of course, I'll link the download in the description. If you guys enjoyed it, like and or subscribe, is greatly appreciated, whichever you feel necessary. And so, uh... Put in the comments below which mod you'd like me to read next, and Murderman 4, over and out. I'll see you guys later.